thank you. Uh, there must be 50 ways to believe in failure. Failure is very important in DevOps, and I think it comes down to how you define it. There's a, a saying, you know, don't, don't, don't tell if you can just do it, so I'm going to start with failure right away. I can't tell you 50 ways in the short time I have, so I'm just going to give you the last 10, okay? So uh, number 10 is it's necessary. All right, you're on a road and you want to win, okay? We're just interested in winning, and we don't want to fail. And many people, we usually just see it as a choice. You're either going to win or fail. And what I'm here to tell you is that a uh, better way to think about it is failure is necessary stops on the way to success. You need it. It's necessary. Uh, and then you'll win and you'll win and you'll win big. The more failure you have, the more you win big. The road to success is paved with failure. That's the point and it's controversial. There are some people in this room who don't buy it. And there's good reason why you don't buy it because it depends on how you look at failure and how you define it. So I'm going to spend this short time with you telling you a few stories, basically, because these are stories that enable me to embrace failure in this productive way. So number 10, uh, excuse me, number 9, there, I failed again. <laughs> it should hurt. There's one organization that knows the most about failure, more than we know in DevOps, more than any IT group knows, and that's organizations that have boys with guns. This is my son. He is wearing all the guns of his army troop. Organizations that deal with boys with guns, if they're going to deal with failure, they're going to be dealing with death. My son chipped his tooth, and it hurt, and he had to get dental treatment. What happened? He suddenly woke up. Somebody was trying to steal his rifle. He was still sleeping, but he was aware of this. He started fighting like a wildcat. The, 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 the man that was on him was huge. He threw him on the floor. He kicked him. The rifle butt hit him in the teeth. That's why he chipped his tooth. But he kicked the guy again, and he got him down, and he held on to his gun. That man was his commander. Why did he do it? Because when you run an organization with boys with guns, you want them to fail at losing their gun in the barracks, not in the field. Now, anyone here have a team? Anyone here a commander of an IT team? Have you gone in and killed your team's service? Have you? Think about it. Number eight, it's an essential part of every serious game. Michael Jordan made this statement. He says, I've missed 9,000 shots. I've lost 300 games 26 times. 26 times I blew the winning shot. I failed over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. This is Michael Jordan. Okay, I didn't make this up. Basketball is a serious game for Michael Jordan. Okay. We think we're so serious, you know, oh, this is a system for the customer. We can't make it fail. So the insight here is, where are you failing, right? The people here who I'm going to fail to convince, you're thinking, that's not failing. He's practicing. That's called practice. So that's what I'm here to try to do, to move your thinking of failure to more of an idea of practice. By the way, the clock's not running. So I. <laughs> And I could. <laughs> uh, can you get the clock going? Yes. Because I need it. Whoa. That, OK, that's good. We just had another failure. Round of applause for the failure. No, that's important what just happened. And what just happened, I'm going to wait a minute on this slide. This is the Ben and Jerry's flavor graveyard. I'm about to tell you that you're, you need to celebrate your failures. You need to remember them. This is an actual photograph of the Ben and Jerry's graveyard. Wavy gravy, so there's no confusion. We thought we ought to warn you. Wavy gravy isn't dead. He lives in California. This is real, OK? They remember their failures. And in my team, before I studied DevOps and learned all about failure, I had a hall of shame for my team. It hung over my desk. Because just like just now, it, there's something in me that when the failure happens, I, like, I wake up. I'm like, I'm in the game. I'm in the game now. So we would, uh, every now and then when we had a big failure, we'd hang up a sign so that we can go back. You need to remember your failures. You need to go over them. 
Michael Jordan goes over that shot. Why did he miss that shot? Why did I miss that shot? Because then you, you get all the fruit from the failure. You learn from it. Failure has messengers. Do not kill them. In, uh, I think, 1905, 1908, uh, a motorman was driving this train. The train, he took the curve at six miles an hour. supposed to be six miles an hour. He took it at 30 miles an hour. The wooden subway cars slipped off the track. People fell out. The train kept going. Arms were cut off and heads were cut off. It was in a tunnel. So as the cars passed the side of the tunnel, people were smashed against the wall. It was utter carnage. It's the worst accident in subway history. They brought that motor man on the carpet, and they fired him. History judges the people that fired him as incompetent. He was on his second shift. He had begged to be let off work, begged. And his manager said, just one more shift. He had only had an hour of training. Motormen are supposed to have three weeks of training. He had that hour because the other motormen were on strike. He was a scab. <coughs> and this was in the month after his oldest son had died of influenza. That man was not to blame. The system was to blame. He was the messenger. I love this picture, so I put it in. This is a nuclear power plant control desk. There's a Heineken beer tap and the other one. I'll call it Miller. It's a very famous story in control. The workmen were screwing up. They keep giving them training. They keep trying to teach them, why are you screwing up? Why are you failing? This is a nuclear power plant, for goodness sakes. You're an idiot. You're fired. You're an idiot. You're fired. And then somebody came along and said, they're not idiots. All the levers are the same. Well, how can we make levers that are shaped different? Some clever guy went to the local bar and brought beer stein levers. The failure rate went down. Don't kill the messenger. Change the system. Decorate your failure. This is an intense one. Decorate your failure. It's brilliant. It's from our friends at Netflix. If you want to learn about failure and causing failure, just look up Netflix failure and spend a few hours. They, they share all their stuff. They're wonderful. Decorate your calls. That's what they've named it, and it's brilliant. This is the actual decoration of a failure call. So in the HTTP header, they write fit.failure. So this is a description of how we're going to fail this. Remember Michael's commander. Steal your gun. This request comes in the system and saying, I'm ready for you to screw around with me in the following way. Whitelist false. Uh, so uh, there's nothing whitelisted on this. The injection points, you can inject failure on my social service. And here's my failure ID. They decorate the requests. You add to your requests some overhead, and then add to your code your failures. And that leads to the next slide. Make it anti-fragile. If you build failure into the system, you're anti-fragile. This is the universal symbol for fragile, a, a delicate wine glass. Most people think the opposite is a big, robust construction thing. But it's not. The opposite is your bicep. The muscle grows when you tear it. It gets stronger from failing. That's anti-fragile. Things that get stronger when you break them. Evolve it. When I first started in this industry, I was killing bugs. Then we had some processes. We called them a canary. You had a huge system. You had a thousand things going on. But if this process fell, you knew you were in trouble, the canary. Today, today, the systems we deploy today have watchdog. That's the name of the process. We have lots of things now. We have monitoring, SNMP, all these things that know how to bark if there might be something going wrong. But you all have to move to the monkeys and look up chaos monkey. Uh, the, uh, the idea is like you let a monkey loose in the data center. You let active software processes loose in your production system, in your production system, like the commander stealing Michael's gun. Always begin anew. This is an actual x-ray of a, a diseased lung. It was shown to almost 2,000 experts. And none of them, well, I'm exaggerating, very few of them saw that there was a gorilla in the picture. There's a gorilla right there. They didn't see it. And the lesson here is, you guys are experts. That's part of your problem. Because experts have extremely fast pattern matching, and they'll come to a system that costs a million dollars, and they'll look at it and say, this system's OK. But you might be like this radiologist. 
the system's not okay, but it's not okay in a way that you're blind to because you're an expert. So you gotta clear out your thoughts, you gotta start anew, and I hope Lightning Talks help you to do that, because I'm coming to the end here. And I want you to all to remember that you all learn to walk. Every single person in this room learned to walk, and these are the ways you did it. You fell down a lot. You spent hours bumping into things, and you were little. My mother is 90. She fell down six months ago, and she got really hurt. She now has a walker. Because you're not supposed to fall down when you're 90. But when you're this size, you were made to fall down. Find the stage in your delivery where your system can fall down again and again and again and make it fall down. And that's failure that will make you stronger. Welcome your mistakes, my friends. <clears throat> you're going for a touchdown, you're going to miss a lot of touchdowns. You're going for the goal, you're going to miss a lot of goals. You want that sunshine moment where your product is leading the quarter and you're first in the L1 report? Then remember how badly you screwed up and get the information out of it, OK? and give yourself first, second, or third prize of failure. So make sure you drill, Phil. Adjust your plan, Stan. Run a good test, Bess. Please make up more of these cute little rhymes. Thank you very much.